at first, they were all talking about the 2001 winning the whole championship. At the same time, you know, we had a big shoe to fill. And there was a lot of, you know, people obviously saying, no way, you're not going to do it again. It never really happens twice, especially back to back, you know. But, you know, all of our, all of us, you know, we believed. When I first came into this um, 2002, uh, it was for us, for myself and my vision was, was going to be very difficult to complete it since winning the 2001 state national champions. So in my mind, I had, we had to conquer something to become champions back to back. So we, we played together well as a team um, and that was the most important. That was uh, a big aspect of our success as, as winning the championship because um, you know, talent, we had talent. Each individual player had talent and talent wins games, but uh, teamwork wins championships. And, and that's one thing that, that I noticed right off the bat is what we had was, uh, was teamwork. 2002 was the most resilient team I've ever coached. They absolutely came and competed every day, never gave in, and never were rattled. Didn't matter what the score was, what the situation was, a perfect example is being down 2-0 in the state championship. You know, when we were down 2-0, you know, we did all, you know, you know, even me, at one point, I kind of doubted, I'm like, whoa, is this really happening? But after he just talked to us at halftime, you know, he just, you know, made us believe, like, you know what, we worked all this, this time, and who cares if they have any national players on that team, you know, we're going to go all out. And we just went out there, and we didn't even, we weren't probably, me, I wasn't thinking about the 2-0. We were just thinking about playing soccer and, you know, outrunning them, and which we did. But being down 2-0, again, we, we were that type of team that wouldn't accept uh, second place um, because I, I break second place trophies um, and I don't accept them. And I know uh, each and every one of us didn't accept that. So, um, so it, wasn't a, it, wasn't an easy, it wasn't an easy win, but the, the greater the battle, the greater the reward. And, um, and I know we, we came together as one unit and it was, it was super fun to watch. Uh, um, every last breath, every last uh, drop of sweat that, that we, we grinded it out and, uh, and I appreciate that. So that team had a hard task because they were following up the 2001 team that had won the state title. And every team, it was the biggest game for them and every team had something to say to us. And they just took it, played, never lost their composure and they just, they just represented Santa Rosa really well. Marty Kenhead was a great, uh, not only mental, mentally, but a, as a, actually for me, I saw him like a, like a parent. You know, very strict, very, uh, he, he believed in the lucky coins, which that helped us out a little bit. But overall, I look at Marty like now, we're best friends. And just all the hard work, you know, physical, mentally, incredible person. I just remember when that final whistle blew, uh, just running all over the pitch, taking off our shirts, throwing Marty up in the air, and that was, uh, that was the time to remember as well. And uh, yeah, we, uh, we all got back on the bus. Uh, we called uh, my neighbors ahead of time, let them know that we're gonna have a little get together at my house, and uh, we apologized ahead of time. I never gave up. We always worked hard, you know, gave it 110%, always smiling, always hanging out together as a team. You know, even if, you know, even if, you know, they didn't really get along, but in the game, the team was a team. And that's big, and, and that's why I think that, you know, with the 2002 team, we're just, we were just amazing. I used to work, and I used to do people's lawns, and we always talk about this, and I always, when I see Marty, he says, you know, you need to have people mowing your lawn. And thanks to him, I'm actually an entrepreneur because of him. I'm thankful and everything. Now I own a couple businesses because of that. You don't do your own lawn anymore? I don't do my own lawn. I want to thank my two children that are away at college, Molly and Keegan. Both had things to do this weekend and decided to come and celebrate with us tonight. And I really appreciate you guys being here. Molly had actually a formal to go to. So her coming here instead, being with me is a win-win. So thanks Molly, thanks Keegan. I love you guys very much and thank you for coming. Teamwork is a, is a foundation to, to win championships and um, I just want to thank each and every one of uh, 
uh, everyone to come together with their talent and their mindset and uh, their strengths and their weaknesses because that makes others uh, stronger in their areas. Um, so I just want to thank each and every one of you for uh, being a part of that team and um, and just I just want to thank everybody and I appreciate it. To say whoever left anything uh, at my house in the sink the night of the party, uh, you can have it back. And uh, there's a cotton swab on the table and please uh, just put it in your mouth, put it in the cotton ball and then uh, send it back. We're going to have those tests done. So uh, again, thank you very much. And uh, you guys uh, see you again in another 17 years, guys. All right. Hard work beats talent when talent doesn't work hard. And even if these guys weren't the most talented ones on the field, they were the toughest guys on the field. And that's just that blue collar ethic that Marty Kinahan brings to this program. I'm really proud that we're the 10th and 11th team to go into the Hall of Fame. I'm really proud that these guys get that honor because they deserve it. It was the first back-to-back -back championship that the school had ever had. It was the first state championship in 17 years for the school. And I'm just really proud of those guys and I'm glad they made it tonight. And we had just a great celebration. Probably last night we probably had <laughs> the wares of it. And uh, I'm thankful for all those guys to come back and enjoy this because every one of them when we called and reconnected we're happy about coming back so I really appreciate that. To say SRJC played marvelous matches and are state champions would be an understatement. It was what it was and that is a Hall of Fame event. Congratulations gentlemen a job well done. <laughs>